Hello, I am Mrs. Morrow and I am doing my internship at a school here in Northern Saskatchewan and I am using for math grade two using my outcome, different outcomes that I have to. So by now this time I am teaching math grade two outcome in 2.2. Saskatchewan curriculum, and I am using the daily math three. It works perfect. Uh, students have a lot of fun. They really enjoy it, and also they're learning and sharing with their classmates. So math with the teacher and math by myself, also math with someone. So here, in math with the teacher, I use my handouts that I have already made for each student. So I pick, I only have nine students, so three students will come and sit down with me here. And we go through whatever they have to have done or to start working, following really, really, really close to the Saskatchewan curriculum. So this is math with the teacher here in this table. And here we also have math with someone. This is where three students will sit down and they will play different games. Right now we're discovering how to do subtracting numbers. So the students use dice and they use this. And they roll dice here. Let's say for example, if they get up to, they just mark it here. And they use their, this with a marker too, with a, one of these. So they use this and they just have to write two, which is the number in the dice, two minus another number here, minus six. So because six is bigger, so we're gonna switch it and we're gonna see six minus two and the students solve the equation right here. They write it down, six minus two equals four right so they write it down here they have to figure it out how they are going to do that on their own because they are supposed to know what subtracting means so before i start this i start to with um, some terms like subtracting what is subtracting and stuff like that so you go through the terms so this is another one math by myself one student will sit down here and they have flashcards a minus flash flashcards so I also made these so they can count like they, if they have five minus five they can count and find out the difference and they also can use this two and write them down here with a marker they write it here they go three minus one and they write the equation down here and they solve and um, that's where they can sit. They can choose where to sit. They have bean bags. They can have a pillow. They can also come and sit down here on the carpet. So this is math by myself. And but I began every day with all the students here uh, sharing what we did yesterday in our classroom. And every student will have a chance to talk about what they did yesterday and I will put on the board let's say for example I will write down we are going to solve this equation today 10 minus 7 so the students will be given this is how we began the math teaching every day so then when they each student will get a little white board and a marker and an eraser so they put their when they have their questions done they put it up and I'll check it out so and we get to share how we found out the answer so the different strategies that each student used to solve and then after that is when we start calling them by names that we have here so right after the board work at the beginning of the class so I called these three students first to go and math with the teacher right there on that table and um, math by myself 
that's what I show you where they have the different places they can choose wherever they want to sit down and then math with someone you call the students too and they will go and sit there it's up to you to find out how much time you're going to give to students uh, per different activity or different stations that they move around anyways this is my daily math three for my grade twos following the Saskatchewan curriculum and then later on we'll go do math with technology but that will be later on almost close to the end of the unit so I hope you enjoy and you can use this technique in your classroom it works excellent it works really good kids can learn they have fun they enjoy using the different manipulatives so when they are finished here also math with the teacher they can get to play cards with me or themselves you know they have different games here and I will show you later on what they can do after they do math with the teacher thank you so much for watching my video